Commerce or country? That is the question on tech giants' minds, because 72 hours ago, a tale of two very different CEOs unfolded. News broke during our show on Monday that Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos told a crowd at the Wired Magazine conference he and Amazon will absolutely work with the U.S. military, the Department of Defense, the Pentagon, in any way that they feel is appropriate, proclaiming that if big tech companies are going to turn their backs on the U.S. Department of Defense, this country is going to be in trouble. Google Sundar Pinchai taking an alternative, slightly uh, less focused path here after suspending Google contracts with the U.S. military. The tech titan says it's considering a censored search engine, though, at the same time in China, which leads us to our next guest, whose company had many a contract with the Department of Defense. Silicon Valley legend known for his combative stance on protecting U.S. technology from China, Cypress Semiconductor co-founder T.J. Rogers is here. Uh, T.J., what did you make of uh, Amazon and Jeff Bezos's comments? And, and is he right? You know, uh, is this country not worth protecting? Um, I liked what he said, and my own company and I supported that position. Having said that, if you want to go back to basic principles, I believe there ought to be a strong uh, division between corporate America and the government. Uh, I don't think companies should be politicizing what they do one way or the other. Uh, if a company decides to take, take green as an example, get away from defense for a minute. Some companies say we're green, we're using all renewable energy and they have a selling point and they get customers for it. Other uh, people might not buy their product because they say green is going to make their product more expensive. Uh, it's a choice companies make. Uh, the, the, the United States government and our Defense Department is going to be the best in the world during the rest of my lifetime, uh, with or without Google. Uh, Google may have reservations about the particular technology involved, which is face recognition. And you can only imagine in a country where the government kind of watches people and, and starts taking away personal privileges when they're not good citizens, which is a program they've got going now, uh, Google may not want to be part of that. So to me, uh, instead of pitting the two CEOs against each other, mm -hmm. they've offered us two models, two different stocks to invest in, two very successful companies. America and Americans will both be better because of both companies. And I think uh, this, this is a, a choice that individual investors should be making uh, for themselves. You know, you're, if I'm correct, you're, you're definitely uh, of libertarian s sensibilities. And, mm -hmm. and tell us what your company, though, did for the Pentagon back in the day, just so that we can get a sense of the choices that you and your company made. Well, I, I used to brag about it at investor meetings. Basically, every F-15, 16, 18, and the missiles they carried uh, had high-tech chips in them from Cypress Semiconductor. And I thought that was the right thing to do. Uh, it was also profitable uh, business for our shareholders, and and that was that was our position with uh, with uh, our investors. Um, I, and with regard to Google in this particular instance of facial recognition technology, um, to me I look at it as a moral choice. And and as long as they present it up front and say you know we're not going to do this, we're not going to do that. Okay, then the investors have a right to say look. I'm investing in companies that will deal with the United States government and help us defend America, uh, like my company did, and that's where I'm putting my money. Um, and, and there are other options. Uh, you know, Facebook, when they decide to leave behind that huge market, they will leave opportunities for other companies that have a different feeling about uh, helping uh, the mm -hmm. government. So again, to me, you go back to what Milton Friedman said. Milton Friedman said the 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 what companies need to do is raise value for their shareholders. And they didn't need, he didn't say companies should raise value as long as they don't add carbon dioxide or take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, or carbon, uh, they should raise uh, value for their shareholders depending upon whether or not they're, they're in defense projects. And, and I, believe, I believe that's right. I, I, I believe that there should be that separation mm -hmm. uh, where companies are allowed to have different models. The experimentation of having different models in a free market is really what makes us strong. And why we're going to win, much more so than what widget one company will make for the government or not. I couldn't agree with you more. We're not here to beat up Google. We are here to, to look at this question that companies are faced with, certainly. But I think your point is made that it's the dollar vote. 
people can vote with their dollar. They can either pick one company uh, in the way that, say, for example, Amazon invests. It's kind of ironic that President Trump has really beaten up on Jeff Bezos, who is also the owner of the Washington Post, but of course, uh, really grew Amazon into quite the powerhouse. And, and he's the one saying, let's stick by the Pentagon. I do want to bring up Apple, though. Apple manufactures quite a bit in China. Did it surprise you to hear that uh, servers, at least according to a very detailed Bloomberg report, had been found for both Amazon and Apple to have had tiny spy chips the size of a grain of sand, in, or a grain of rice, I guess, uh, inserted somewhere along the line in China. And what message do you glean from that? Well, when you deal with Asian manufacturing, in particular uh, the Chinese manufacturing, um, you have to watch out. You have to have quality control. It's extraordinary. Uh, you have to be careful that your secrets are not being taken. Uh, they actually have rules, which in many cases, if you even want to sell something in China, you have to make it in China. And once you make it in China, you have to make it in a Chinese factory where you disclose your trade secrets. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I, I would be very worried that, that um, if I were manufacturing in China, and we have, you have to, to be competitive. It's the most cost-efficient uh, country in the world for manufacturing. But you've got to be careful because they, they don't have our beliefs and they don't have our rules. T.J. Rogers, I know our viewers are going to write and say, I want to hear more from that guy. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Thank you for coming on. Good to see you.